Hi, welcome to Free Spirit Channel and welcome to a very special spirit message that came through this morning and I felt like I was at a therapist's office. It was the most amazing counseling session almost and I'm going to put it word for word in the description box. I'm going to reread this often. If you don't feel the words as I'm saying them, definitely go in the description box and read it because all these spirit messages, you should really feel bathed with knowledge and love and I want you to feel everything that I feel when I first get the messages and that's why I do take the time to post it word for word in the description box because I want to share not just the message but the experience of hearing it so it may work better with your internal voice reading the words so that's why I always I want to say I always put the spirit messages in the description box so you can have the experience I want to share not just the message, but the experience of what I experienced getting and receiving these messages. Okay, so this one, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I mean, seriously, hold on to your socks. Um, this knocked my socks off, literally. It was called Trust and Believe. The universe will let me do what I love and support me. Trust and believe. The universe will let me do what I love and support me. Quantum Leap Fulfillment. This is the spirit message. So the spirit message was, this sentiment alone really brings up a lot, doesn't it? Say this to yourself, say it even out loud, and say it aloud. Trusting and believing the universe will let me do what I love and support me. Now listen, listen to the echoes coming forth from deep inside, echoing out all the reasons you don't find this true for you. All the reasons you have as a form of evidence that this is not true for you. How it may be true for others, but not you. Because of all you have experienced thus far, all the things you've tried, all the things you long for, and it did not work. It didn't support you. Over and over, it didn't support you. So you believe this is not true for you. So you hang on to what you think you have to settle for, to pay the bills, to be a grown-up, what it means to just get by and not dream or pine for more so much, but just be satisfied with what you have, etc. And you can do a great job of that, but what if all those things just were not really it for you and that's why it didn't work before? What if all that was to give you the experience for this, what you now truly want? What if we try again, and it doesn't have to be a huge risk taking here, but test it out and gather new evidence for yourself? Can the universe let you do what you love now and support it? Try it out and see. You may be happily surprised now, but go forward without the old echoes reverberating through it if you can. This time can be different, and if not, it will lead to the next thing that's even better and more meant and more supported, which leads back to the whole time the universe was actually supporting you all along the way, even when you thought you were left behind, it was only for a quantum leap forward in the end. It's all a quantum leap in the end. You just can't see or feel that from your perspective. Whether you move forward outside in your life circumstances or inside your consciousness, the shifts are quantum levels, and on some level you do know this, so you can trust and believe the universe is supporting you. Yes. Can you do what you love? Yes. Every day, and do so. If you are asking now, can it monetarily support you, that's actually a different thing, isn't it, in a sense? You are asking now, will others on this planet support you monetarily by doing what you love and pay for it? We shall see. This made me laugh. But isn't it worth trying? Isn't it worth doing? Isn't it just worth doing if it's what you love? So find a way to do what you love first and then see where it goes. Spend your time enjoying the moments. Release the stress of money. Money will come and go. You can always find a way to make more money, but happiness is up to you. Fulfillment, true fulfillment is up to you. And that's worth more than any huge ba bank account. Go fill that up. Your fulfillment, fill it. And yes, you are truly supported in that. So the bottom line answer is, whatever you're doing for money really has nothing to do with what you love. It's separate. Do what you love, it is fully supported. Money may come and it may not, but it's important to always find a way to still do what you love. You may not have enough money for an expensive trip around the world, but right where you are, you will feel more fulfilled. 
so which trip was actually more worth it? Think about it. It's the quantum leap of doing what you love, however, wherever, and whenever you can. And that was the message. So, of course, lots of us can't have the luxury of doing what we absolutely love um, to pay our bills. But I, what I gather was this message was to keep it separate, to still continuously do what you love in your days. Fill your days with what you truly love. And if things didn't work out, if you want to start side businesses, hobbies, things just for fun, still do what you love for your own fulfillment. And who knows, it could possibly lead to a place and movement to where it does bring in enough money that you can just do that. But they're saying no matter what, don't get stuck with just focusing on the money issue and not fulfilling the love piece. To always do things that you love, to know that you're always supported to do what you love. And the universe is always supporting you to do what you love. And um, so th sometimes, and I think they were coming through strongly with me personally, is it seems every time I step out, nothing seems to ever work. It's never, um, you know, clearly laid out and easy and um, things are monetarily um, payoffs at all. But what they're saying are there are qu huge quantum leaps of fulfillment that you can do wherever, whenever, wherever you are that are the true quantum leaps in fulfillment and don't lose sight of that from our perspective don't lose sight of it because that's the bigger perspective and that's what they wanted to share today so whether you're in your nine to five you're in a job you don't really care for anymore things like that then on the side or anywhere in the moments that you have spare do the things that you love you never know where it could take you don't let the past burn you to where you don't believe in these quantum leaps these quantum leaps of fulfillment. And I loved that analogy at the end that, yes, with a huge bank account, you can travel the world, but where's the real quantum leap of fulfillment is right where you are feeling fulfilled. Think about it. It's the quantum leap of doing what you love, however, wherever, and whenever you can. And that was pretty awesome. So I wanted to share this message. And it kind of, at the end of it, when you read it for myself, I felt like so much of my past experience just left. So much of the frustration and the stress and everything else because I think for a long time I did try so hard to make what I love be the thing that pays my bills. And sometimes it just doesn't work out that way, especially not right away. And not to let that discourage you or throw you off because that's the quantum leaps of fulfillment in the moment is continuously doing what you truly love. So don't be discouraged and let those echoes reverberate where you're not now even trying or fulfilling your days doing what you love because you wrote it off that it doesn't pay the bills. Still find a way to do it because that's your true fulfillment right where you are and it's so separate from the money. I mean, just talking about it, doing what you love in the moment, um, it fills you. Do you feel the energy difference just feeling that? I mean, it's um, it's amazing and how that immediately releases all the stress and frustration. And then what you find is if you fill more of your days with what you love and you still have to do other things to pay your bills, you almost don't mind it as much because you're still getting your true fulfillment somewhere else. This is a, such a huge, huge message buried all over through the place that if you reread it and read uh, you know, listen or watch it, you'll see a lot of your stress and frustration will just dissipate and it will free you up. And um, it's pretty amazing. You can really make huge quantum leaps in allowing yourself to do what you love and um, release the money side for now. The money tends to immediately cause those echoes of, well, I don't get the money. It's never supported me money-wise. This is separate. This is the universe supporting what you love to do right now. Right now, you could turn off this video and do it, what you love right now in this moment. That's what's going to give you the true fulfillment. And it may lead to eventually supporting you completely financially. But one step in front of the other end, and the first thing is to give yourself permission. And always continuously, it's those quantum leaps of doing what you love. It's the quantum leaps of doing whatever you love, whenever, wherever, however. Um, and you are fully supported in doing that. It was an amazing, amazing message. And who knows where it leads? And they always said, don't be discouraged because it could lead to the next thing that you love even more down the road. So nothing is in vain. Nothing is for anything. And what you think is a step back sometimes is almost like, you know, when you step back to do a huge giant leap forward, that's the image they continuously give me when they say quantum leap. 
your imaginary and your physical emotional place, you think you're physically, uh, your life is taking a step back or four steps back or five steps back. But that's when you're doing the most massive con in the inside consciousness shifts where you do a huge quantum leap forward. So never think those steps back are ever really going back. There's no such thing really as going backward. They say all the time, it's more to gain the momentum of going forward on a giant quantum leap. And like they said, everything is a quantum leap. They kept saying that over and over, everything is a quantum leap. We don't get it all from our perspective. And so all these messages come through to kind of give us this higher, bigger perspective so we can release what we tell ourselves in the moments that we um, kind of equate to a setback, which really dampens our fire and our flame to even try again. And so what they're saying is we're always free to do what we love in the moment, wherever, whenever, however. And that's the quantum leaps in fulfillment. That's the fulfillment. You may not have the bank account, like they said, to travel the world. And that's so interesting that came up because I was fantasizing about taking one of those uh, trips, you know, those Mediterranean cruises, which I, that's like a lifetime bucket list kind of thing I could never afford to do, still can't. And so I think that's why they brought it up in, because it came up in conversation last weekend. But right where you are, if you find true fulfillment, uh, doing what you love in the moment, that's such a huge quantum leap of fulfillment right then and there. You don't have to travel the world for it. You don't. You could even go on that trip and say it sucks. Say your ship has issues. Say, um, I don't know, it's not even a pleasurable experience. It's a waste of money. You know, the cost of that trip could be a lot more where right where you are in the moment doing what you love is the huge quantum leap forward. They kept saying the money and what you love is separate. So when you say, does the universe love and support me? Will it support me doing what I love? Yes, it always does. Take the money part out of the equation. Man-made money almost is what they're giving me. It's like the universe is always supporting you to do what you love, always. So if you're doing a nine to five or a 12 hour job and blah, 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 but in your downtime, do what you love. That's the true fulfillment. That's, you're truly supported by the universe. And who knows, one day it could lead, do the steps of doing what you love. It could lead to actually supporting you monetarily. but like this message said, they were urging me to separate the issue because I constantly wish for and pine for a way to do what you love. If everyone on the planet could just wake up and just do what they naturally love and be supported, what a beautiful world this would be because everybody would feel fulfilled and have no, no stress of money and what a wonderful world that would be. And um, I always kind of thought that as a child innocently, like why can't everything just be paid for and just do what you love because everybody's so gifted and then say if you work at the post office but you're an amazing singer, why can't the world hear your incredible voice? Why are you stuck at the counter? It seemed unfair not just to the person but to the world. I didn't understand. And um, they're urging, well, if you're like that post person working behind the counter and then on the weekend, sing. Sing, share your gifts. Do you still, in the moment, you know, post a video of you singing. Meaning, whatever your gifts are, whatever you truly love, don't let the money be the hurdle. Don't let the money be the hurdle. Don't let it stop you because it stops your light from being shown. The world needs it. You need it. Um, so it's separate. And quantum leaps forward in fulfillment when you just do what you love no matter wherever, however, wherever you can. And yes, 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 the universe does support you. It always supports you in doing that. It is always supporting you in doing what you love. And this was like the most profound message. I had to share it on my channel. I'm gonna watch it and rewatch it and re listen and we write, you know, read it whenever I feel a little discouraged because it is a little discouraged when you're trying to put the two together and they're urging us to find the fulfillment in the moment. It's a quantum leap forward when you do what you love. It's a quantum leap forward. Do what you love and that it's up to you for the fulfillment uh, the universe is supporting you to find and and have this fulfillment and so here it says you may not have enough money for an expensive trip around the world but right where you are you will feel more fulfilled so which trip was actually more worth it think about it it's the quantum leap of doing what you love however wherever and whenever you can take care bye bye